Now, we all hear about this concept of don't overpromise and underdeliver, right? We're supposed to underpromise and overdeliver. It's a very interesting polarizing phrase because underpromising and overdelivering implies that you may not have a lot of faith that you or the people you're counting on can deliver accurately. And so the premise behind underpromise overdeliver is you look like a hero, right? Because if you say something's going to happen a week from now and it happens 3 days from now, you get to call the customer and say, "Look, great news. I thought it was going to be a week and it's only 3 days." But what's interesting about this is when I think of that phrase, part of it is it can be a cop out because we really want to understand what our limitations are of our company, of our teams, of ourselves and we want to really wrap our arms around being able to convey accurate information to the customer. And sometimes I believe that when you say under promise and over deliver, it can be almost an excuse to not really get accurate information. And frankly, it can take the sense of urgency off the people involved because they know they have a cushion to work with. So there's a fine line with that expression and it's important that we discern between that expression used for good and that expression used for excuses and just to build in an unnecessary cushion, right? Because sometimes someone might need something in three days. We know it was going to take five days and we'll say, hey, most of the time it takes five days and they'll get three. But then if it takes five, they're still not necessarily happy because their expectation, even though you warned them, was it would take three.